So you have a problem in Microsoft Excel where the last digits of a long number are automatically converted to zeros. I'll show you what I mean. Let's copy this serial number into Excel. And by default, it uses the scientific format to display the number. But if I get rid of that by changing the format to number, you can see that beyond 15 digits, I now have zeros. And that is not the case up here. And Excel does this by default. Beyond the first 15 digits, the other digits will automatically be converted to zeros. Now, the way to get around this is to store the number, the serial number in this case, as a text value. And one way you can do that is to prefix the number with an apostrophe. So if I paste in the serial number after that apostrophe, you can see that I retain all of the digits. Now you do get a green triangle top left of the cell when you do that. And if you click on this little warning button, you can ignore the error and therefore get rid of the green triangle. Now I'll just expand Excel. The other way around it, if you know that a whole column, for example, is going to contain serial numbers, what you might do is format all the cells in that column with the text format. So having selected the cells, you can go to this drop down or formats and then choose text at the bottom here. So if I then paste the serial number into this cell, I don't need an apostrophe in front of the digits, but it does store the value as text. I can see that by the way, because it's on the left of the cell, but also I can see the digits beyond the first 15 numbers. Again, I can get rid of that green triangle by ignoring the error. Now the methods I've shown you so far are fine if you're just copying and pasting one or two serial numbers or whatever numbers they are into Excel. But if you're importing large amounts of data, then you're going to need a more efficient way of doing so. So I'm gonna look at two ways of importing this data set into Excel, retaining all digits, not just the first 15. Now for the first method, we need to change a setting in Excel. If you go to File, and then Options, then to Data, and you need to make sure this option is ticked from Text Legacy, and that will make available this old Import Wizard. So to use that Import Wizard, you go to the Data tab on your ribbon, Get Data, and now you have Legacy Wizards made available in this menu. So we're gonna select From Text, there's the file I want to import. So the text is delimited by a tab. So I'll leave delimited selected there. Next, tab, it's already guessed it. You can see that it's correctly separated the columns in my preview there. Next. So the first column is a date column. So I'll make sure date is selected there. Then I'm gonna select this column. I'm gonna tell it it's text. And then I'm going to go to finish. And then I'm just going to select a cell that I want Excel to import the data into. And then I'm going to click on OK. You can see it's imported the serial numbers as text, retaining all digits. Now the second method I'm going to show you uses Power Query. So if we go to data, get data from file, from text CSV file. There's my file. Import. I'm going to transform the data. So it's correctly identified the first column as a date column, but it's applied the number format to these serial numbers. I'm going to change that to text by clicking up here where it says 1.2. Change it to text. Replace current. And then all I need to do is go to close and load, close and load. And it imports the data into Excel. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.